Hello everyone, I'm Natalie and welcome back to my astrology channel. So I finished all my sun sign videos and now I want to talk about them again but in the opposition form. The reason I want to do that is because I feel like that old saying opposites attract is very true for astrology. And with these oppositions comes challenges, even though there is a strong attraction there. Oppositions are like magnets. They come together and then they rebel against each other, basically. But the thing with oppositions is they are very much needed because this is how we can balance all of the energies in astrology. I also think that you can learn a lot about each sign through learning the opposition, whatever their partner sign or opposite sign is. And I think that in some way every sign needs its opposite sign because the opposite sign reflects areas that that particular sign lacks in. Every set of partner signs has a lot to learn from each other. and learning from our opposition can help us bring more awareness to our sign. I'm going to be talking about the oppositions as if it's just like the energy of the sign, how these signs are in any kind of relationship, not just romantic relationships, why they need each other, what they can learn from each other, and how they really benefit each other with the challenges that comes up with these oppositions, if that makes any sense. So here we go. Taurus and Scorpio. This is the first fixed opposition of astrology. And <laughs> this one can be challenging. With each set of partner signs, there's always something that they have in common, but they're just doing it in different ways. And with Taurus and Scorpio, they are both searching for security, but they are doing it in different ways. Taurus is more like the physical security because it's the second house, and the second house is like your immediate security that you get when you are born. It's like, give me food, give me shelter give me clothing so I can survive your basic needs pretty much so Taurus is looking for the security in physical things in material possessions or with money Scorpio on the other hand is also looking for security is looking for that safety but they are doing it with people with emotions they hold on to emotions even if it's not healthy for them. They hold on to grudges even when it doesn't serve them anymore. And these two signs, being fixed signs, they're both so freaking stubborn. Neither of them are willing to let go, to change. Taurus is all about creating stuff out of nothing because it's Venus and Venus is like artistic so Taurus creates Scorpio ruled by Pluto destroys so the Taurus can always feel like the Scorpio brings chaos to their world Taurus wants to create a stable environment a beautiful environment but it's not like the Libra Venus where it's like a harmonious environment necessarily. It's almost like the surface things. So Scorpio gets irritated that the Taurus doesn't want to go deeper to fix things in feelings, in the psyche of humans, <laughs> in like our actual emotions. Taurus doesn't want to go in there and Scorpio doesn't want to come out of that darkness to be in a more beautiful surrounding. They don't want to come out of their secret hiding place to join the Taurus where the Taurus has created this stability. So these two can actually 
learn a lot from each other and can actually really help each other out because they both need each other to change and they're both so stubborn and they don't want to change but they can really help each other change once they bring that awareness that they are both holding on to things in different ways they are both so fixed on things they both have a possessive quality to them they don't want to let shit go neither of them <laughs> the scorpio can help the taurus to dig deep into the taurus's being like get deep into your soul and pull out the things of the taurus that are serving them or no longer serving them and help the Taurus, because Taurus is afraid of change deeply because they don't like disruption. And that's why they see the Scorpio as crazy because the Scorpio brings disruption to their calm environment, to what the Taurus has created, the beauty that Taurus has created. So, Taurus gets stuck in this beautiful little sanctuary and the Scorpio's like, you need to change this, 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 and this. <laughs> and the Taurus is like, you are critical. You can't just come in and do all this stuff. They're both two micromanaging signs. But Taurus, you can benefit from Scorpio's intuitiveness, Scorpio's deep sense of who you are. They see who you are on the inside. And Taurus have a hard time finding value within themselves because they're always trying to find value in things. Their value is almost equivalent to like how much money they make. And a Scorpio sees more. And they can help you discover aspects of yourself that you weren't in touch with. And when you learn from the Scorpio to embrace those and transform them, even though it's scary, <laughs> the Scorpio is always going to scare you a little bit how much they can see into you, you can have internal security and external security with the help of the Scorpio's psychic awareness. Now, on the other hand, Scorpio can really benefit from Taurus because Scorpio is just stuck in darkness, stuck in hell, pretty much. Stuck in trauma, stuck in negativity, stuck in the past. So Taurus can be like your, your safety net. You can go to Taurus and find comfort, find stability through your chaos but it's gonna be hard because the Taurus is gonna want to make you change even though they're not gonna want to change and maybe bring changes that you aren't ready for but if you allow the Taurus to nurture you in the ways that they are able to nurture people in a physical sense create that environment around you that is a little bit lighter you can have clarity with your thoughts <laughs> because Scorpio is like holding on to grudges almost and Taurus can almost save you from that. Taurus can bring you more common sense. Taurus can provide rationality and maybe point out in very grounded ways whether or not things that you are feeling are things that are actually things that you need to be putting your emotional energy into whether it's something that can even bring you some kind of security because scorpio will put all this emotional feeling into things and the taurus will be able to point out with their more rational thinking whether or not that that's something that you can even physically benefit from. If you can create something out of that, if you can make something secure from it, 
they'll help bring that clarity to what you feel deeply on the inside. Taurans can rescue you out of the dark in a way. You just have to let them. You have to let them be them and create. You have to let them create in the ways that they are able to create and not destroy what they create for you. Not see it as something that is attacking you. The Taurus can help you come out of your shell, basically. Will help you come out of the dark. The Taurus can kind of be like a savior to you. Will help you see the light and will show you physically around you by creating things. They will show you what you can be living for. They will show you beauty in areas that you can't see beauty. Where you only see mess, <laughs> Taurus will come in. They will create it into something beautiful. Create it into something that you can find safety in. Once you are able to let go of your need for control, both of you, you really can save each other from the mess that you both live in all the time. You can see it as kind of like tourists living in an internal mess and that's why they try to micromanage everything in their environment externally and Scorpio living in that external mess. So they try to micromanage everything internally with everyone, not just themselves. They try to pick apart people because they think their world is chaotic. But you just have to not go about it in a way that is like wanting to control each other, wanting to make each other be what you think is right. That's not how you can get along. Taurus will be able to transform themselves in ways that they couldn't. They will be able to actually utilize their gifts and their talents through Scorpio and Scorpio will be able to not see the world in such a negative light, not see the world as dark, as scary. So that's your Taurus and Scorpio opposition. Thanks for watching.